Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anila Gul and I am a student of final year morning. My roll number is BP1650031. The drug assigned to me is ampicillin. So let's start. So first we uh, see what is antibiotic. An antibiotic is a type of antimicrobial substance active against bacteria. It is the most important type of antibacterial agent for fighting bacterial infections. Antibiotic medications are widely used in the treatment and prevention of infections. They may either kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. Ampicillin belonging to the penicillin group of beta-lactam antibiotic. Ampicillin has more extended activity against aerobic gram-negative bacilli than penicillin. Ampicillin is able to penetrate the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It differs from penicillin only by the presence of an amino group. That amino group helps the drug to penetrate the outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria. Now we see the now we see what is the mechanism of action of ampicillin. The more mode of action of beta-lactam antimicrobials on sensitive organisms can be considered to be a two-step process. In the first step, the drug binds to primary receptors called membrane-bound penicillin binding proteins. These proteins perform vital roles in cell cycle related morphogenetic formation of cell wall peptidoglycan structure. Inactivation of penicillin binding proteins by bound antimicrobial has immediate arresting action on their function. The second stage comprises the physiological effects caused by this receptor ligand interaction. Penicillin binding proteins are involved in the late stages of peptidoglycan synthesis in the cell wall. Because peptidoglycan maintains the integrity of the cell wall, which resides in a hypotonic environment, its disruption causes lysis and cell death. Now indications of ampicillin. Penicillin had been very effective against step aureus in the past. However, step aureus has become capable of exhibiting resistance against them by producing a penicillin hydrolyzing enzyme that is penicillinase. After that, subsequent efforts to overcome this issue and extend the antimicrobial coverage of penicillins, ampicillin was developed. Ampicillin is FDA approved for the treatment of the infection caused by different bacteria. Ampicillin is used in the treatment of respiratory tract infections caused by streptococcus pneumoniae, penicillinase and non-penicillinase producing staphylococcus aureus. It is also used in the bacterial meningitis caused by gram-negative bacteria E. coli and gram-positive bacteria list monocytogen. It is also used in septicemia and endocarditis caused by gram-positive bacteria including penicillin susceptible staphylococcus species, streptococcus species and enterococcus species. It is also used in GI infections caused by sensitive strains of E. coli and Proteus myrobilis. It is also used in different GI infections caused by Salmonella, Typhi, Shigella and, and other species and usually improve with oral or IV therapy. Culture must be obtained for susceptibility and antimicrobial sensitivity. However, empiric therapy may be started before receiving the results. Ampicillin has effective minimum inhibitory concentration for most of the organisms like E. coli minimum inhibitory concentration is 4 mg per liter for step aureus minimum inhibitory concentration is 0.6 to 1 mg per liter for streptococcus pneumoniae MIC is equals to 0.03 to 0.06 mg per liter and for H. influenza MIC is equals to 0.25 mg per liter. Now the adverse effects of ampicillin. The primary adverse effects of ampicillin include diarrhea, 
enterocolitis, pseudomembranous colitis, vomiting, agranulocytosis, hemolytic anemia, and immune thrombocytopenia. Common adverse effects are GI, that is uh, black, hairy tongue, no nausea, vomiting, and enterocolitis, diarrhea. Hypersensitivity reactions occur due to ampicillin, that is rashes, and urticaria occur frequently. Reports also exist uh, of some cases of uh, arrhythmia, multiform, and exfoliative dermatitis. Anaphylaxis is the most severe complication experienced and is usually associated with the parenteral form. There are also many other uh, liver in, uh, adverse effects, a moderate elevation of serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase is reported. Commonly in infants, its significance is unknown. Mild transient elevation are possible with repeated intramuscular administration in individuals receiving larger than usual dose. Evidence indicates that uh, serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase gets released in the intramuscular injection site and the increased quantity seen in the blood may not necessarily be uh, from the liver as a source. Now, we will now the drug interactions of the ampicillin. Ampicillin reacts with probenicid to decrease renal excretion. Large doses of ampicillin can increase the risk of bleeding with concurrent use of warfarin and other oral anticoagulants, possibly by inhibiting platelet aggregation. Ampicillin has been said to make oral contraceptive less effective, but this has been disputed. It can, all, it can be made less effective by other antibiotics such as chloramphenicol, erythromycin, cephalosporin, and tetracycline. For example, tetracycline inhibit protein synthesis in bacteria, reducing the target against which ampicillin acts. If given at the same time as aminoglycoside, it can bind to it and inactivate it. When administered separately, aminoglycoside and ampicillin can potentiate each other instead. Ampicillin cause skin rashes more often when given with allopur allopurinol and both the liver uh, cholera vaccine and live typhoid vaccine can be made ineffective if given with ampicillin. Ampicillin is normally used to treat cholera and typhoid fever lowering the immunological response that the body has to mount. Now the dose variation in population, dose uh, of ampicillin, uh, there are two different uh, do doses of capsule that is 250 mg uh, is available and 500 mg is available. Oral sus suspension is also available in two different uh, doses that is 125 mg to 5 m per 5 ml or 250 mg per 5 ml. Now powder for injection is available in different forms also. And journal dosing guidelines for adults is that is orally 250 to 500 mg uh, every 6 hourly can be given to adult. IV 1 to 2 gram every 4 to 6 hour can be given to an adult. Now in pre pediatrics 400 mg per kg per day IV or IM divided every 6 hourly can be given 552 100 mg per kg per day orally divided every 4 to 6 hour not to exceed 12 gram per day severe infections in severe infections 200 to 400 mg per kg per day iv or im can be given every 6 hourly now the brand names available uh, of ampicillin that is mp plus the, uh, the price of mp plus is 38 rupees or omnipan and 500 mg its price is 32 uh, rupees per injection polysilin capsule that is 125 mg is available uh, its price is 16.7 alternative drug of ampicillin are amoxicillin piperacillin ticaracillin now the irrational use irrational use of antibiotics includes the prescription of incorrect dose self-medication and treatment of non-bacterial illness 
poor knowledge about the use of antibiotic had a significant association with irrational use of antibiotics irrational use of antibiotic can make many forms including the use of the too many medicines per patient that is polypharmacy the inappropriate use of self medication often with prescription only medicine in non bacterial infections outside clinical guidelines or inappropriate route of administration such as overuse of injections when oral formulations would be more appropriate in a similar way if ampicillin is irrationally used it can also cause resistance to bacteria ampicillin is often prescribed by many clinicians including the nurse practitioners however we have entered an era of drug resistance and it is crucial for all healthcare workers not empirically to prescribe ampicillin for every type of infection the clinician will decide to treat with ampicillin but can consult with a pharmacist particularly one with broad certification in infectious diseases pharmacists can review the antibiogram and verify dosing and duration nursing can counsel the patient on how to take the medication answer any question and monitor patient adherence and therapeutic therapeutic effectiveness reporting any concern to the prescriber there should be an interprofessional effort to minimize and limit the use of antimicrobials to only those with bacterial infections that will benefit from the course of therapy and avoid use in non bacterial illness now the toxicity toxicity of uh, any medi uh, if the any medication is taken without prescription or in a not in a proper way then it can cause the toxicity in case of overdose discontinuation of the medication symptomatic treatment and supportive care institution is necessary in patient with decreased renal failure renal renal functions sorry the antimicrobial is removable via hemodialysis but not peritoneal dialysis whole bowel irrigation has been proven to be effective in severe cases of oral overdoses now the case study k is is a 52 year old woman who was admitted to a hospital after she was found to have a splinter hemorrhage she was uh, presented she presented with a temperature of 102.1 fahrenheit a white blood cell count of 14.1 exponent 3 cells per ml and a heart rate of 114 beats per minute a trans esophageal echocardiogram revealed vegetation on the mitral valve and ke was given a diagnosis of native valve endocarditis with symptoms starting less than 3 months ago now we will move towards the soap notes what are the soap notes subjective age uh, of a patient that is 52 years old gender is female the major problem that is diagnosis of the native valve endocarditis and the splinter hemorrhage she has no drug allergies and objective vital signs that is heart rate is 114 beats per minute temperature is 102.1 fahrenheit wbc count is 14100 cells per ml ecg reports Uh, are in the ecg report there is a vegetation on the mitral valve creatinine clearance that is 106 ml per minute bacterial culture is sensitive to ampicillin a trans echocardiogram revealed vegetation on the mitral valve and ke was given a diagnosis of native valve endocarditis patient was also found to have a splinter hemorrhage in her nail bed accompanied by journalized malaise for Two weeks in blood culture, it was analyzed that Enterococcus facilis was present. Enterococcus facilis susceptible to ampicillin. So, in the plan, now the plan, uh, the patient should receive ampicillin sodium two gram IV every four hourly plus gentamicin sulfate three mg per kg IV in two to three equally divided doses. and the therapy should be uh, for four weeks patient should be monitored for hypersensitivity reaction because the ampicillin uh, may cause the hypersensitivity reactions now the uh, notes ampicillin may reduce the effects of gentamicin if they are mixed in a same iv container so they should be uh, 
it should be avoided to mix the both to mix both ampicillin and gentamicin in a same container when used together they are typically uh, should be administered separately because uh, if they are used together they may there may be uh, no effect of the drug or there may be the adverse effect among the aminoglycosides gentamicin and tobramycin have been used extensively in combination with ampicillin now the references Thank you so much.